Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. I have a huge fabric haul to show you today. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to say a special welcome to all my new subscribers today. It is great to have you in our community. If you're not subscribed yet, you can go ahead and click that button down below and don't forget to press the bell so that you get notified. We do do some live streams, so you definitely want to be notified when we are live. All right, so I have a huge fabric haul to show you. Um, I took a trip to Zinc's in Indiana. My husband and I got away for the weekend and I did my Christmas shopping. So I... Um, bought fabric to make all the Christmas things. So I'm going to show you that today. Um, wonderful prices, wonderful fabric, um, clean store, uh, just a fabulous experience all the way around. So what I want to do is show you these pieces of fabric and kind of tell you what my plans are, even if they aren't completely nailed down. Um, but I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do with these pieces of fabric. So I'm going to start with this double brush poly that is a stripe. It's a horizontal stripe. Um, this reminded me of my daughter-in-law. So this is going to actually be a laundry day tee dress for her. And I'm going to make her a cardigan to go over it. She wants a duster type cardigan, she told me. So I think I'm going to do the Harper from Sinclair and just make the um, longer length version. And this double brush poly is so soft and nice. Um, I've had their double brush poly in the past and it always washes up so nice and it's just a joy to sew with as well. All right, the next piece is some stretch, kind of kind of reminds me of Bengaline. This was on their clearance uh, table for $1.99 a yard. It's a really nice stretch woven. Um, so I think this is gonna probably be uh, Sabrina Slim's or one of the other jeans, uh, stretch jeans patterns. Um, perhaps I might make the Mountain View jeans out of, the, out of this. I think that would be kind of cool as well. Um, it's got a denim look to it, but very, very stretchy. This is a baby print that I got there. It has little alligators and says baby gator on it, turtles, um, looks like salamanders. I'm going to put that closer to the camera. Anyway, this is a fabulous, um, soft little piece of fabric. Um, I had used my baby boy fabric for a friend, and so I needed to replenish it. And they have this, the most beautiful baby prints. Really, really gorgeous. All right, next... I love this print. It was very hard not to get it for myself, but I wasn't going to necessarily buy things for myself. I bought two things for myself. One was that uh, Bengaline or Stretch Woven that I just showed you, and uh, one, we'll get, we'll get to it. But this is so pretty. This is Double Brush Poly, and I believe my oldest granddaughter is going to get something in this. I'm not sure exactly what yet. I know the girls like wearing leggings more in the fall than dresses. So probably some kind of a tunic. Uh, and then maybe I'll make her a pair of uh, black or really dark maroon uh, leggings to go with it. Love this fabric. If you could feel this double brush poly, I mean, it's so soft and like I said, just fabulous to sew with. It doesn't curl. It's just a really nice fabric. No more double brush poly. <laughs> this is for my middle granddaughter. She loves yellow and teal, so I couldn't resist this piece and I'm not exactly sure uh, what I'm going to do with it. Probably some kind of top again. So all of the double brush poly was $6 a yard. So very, very good deal. All right, this is going to be hard to see with the camera, but this is a teddy bear cuddle fleece. Really that, that teddy bear texture, if you can see that. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to make three gifts from this cut. And one of them is going to be for my uh, littlest grandson, for my older grandson, the 
six-year-old and the five-year-old. And I'm gonna make them little half zip hoodies with this. I think it'll just be adorable. And my brother's little grandson, um, I usually sew for him as well. So I'll probably, um, if I have enough, make him one as well. I'll find a way to make them individual, whether it be a applique or um, change the lining fabric or something. I'll figure something out. I'll probably use the kids' navigator pattern for that. It's a Love Notions uh, half zip hoodie. Speaking of half zip hoodies, my littlest granddaughter. This is an animal fur that is really, really soft. Um, this is stretchy too. It's, um, it's definitely a knit. Doesn't have a lot of stretch, but it does have enough. And this is going to be a little navigator half zip for my littlest granddaughter. She likes hoodies. So I thought this animal print was adorable. And then I'm gonna do an acorn vest for my other granddaughter who is eight. So I think that'll be really cute. I think I'll make her a little tur turtleneck or something to go underneath um, that kind of complements the pink in there. The next piece, this is more double brush poly. This is for my daughter. And I believe this will either be a top, a dress, or a cardigan. Um, I may go get some plain navy and then go ahead and make this the, the uh, duster over top of a plain navy top. She loves cardigans. <laughs> this is the other piece I got for me. Um, this is like a space dyed t-shirt knit and it was on their $1.50 a yard bin and um, I think there was four yards of it here so that it will be a t-shirt for me probably and probably something for my husband as well because there's plenty. Now the last couple pieces were from Vogue Fabrics um, that I ordered so I will show you these as well. This is a chiffon, like a Georgette feel. It is a little bit transparent. Um, you can see, yeah, you can see that better. So it, it would have to be over, you know, some, a lining or cami or something, but um, I'm seeing a, some kind of a top or dress in this, probably a top. This one, I just love this print. It's a crepe. And it's a really, oh, it's just a beautiful crepe. It feels really nice. It looks and feels expensive. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It will be something for me. I'm not sure if I'll just make a blouse or um, perhaps a peppermint, um, the in the folds uh, ruffle sleeve top. I've got a number of patterns I'm thinking of for this, um, but I'll be sure and share when I do. And then my last piece is bull denim. And it, see, I can't remember if this is stretch or not. No, this is definitely not a stretch denim. Just plain old black bull denim. And of course, these will be some kind of pants for me, uh, possibly for maybe my grandsons, I'm not sure. But um, there's a lot here. So I think I've got three and a half yards or something. So there's plenty to do for the little boys and me. So that is my fabric haul. I cannot wait to get started on all this. This is going to get my jump start on Christmas. I don't have a whole lot more than I need to buy, but um, I do have a few little odds and ends. But anyway, I am going to love doing this, and I hope my granddaughters and my daughter and daughter-in-law were not watching this episode. I'm going to warn them not to. And I hope you have a fantastic day. On Sunday, we'll have our live chat this week. I have no... Uh, plans that I know of anyway on Sunday and I look forward to being with you. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday weekend. We just enjoyed uh, being together so much and this all is a result of shopping at the fabric outlet on uh, our holiday weekend time. So. so I will see you Sunday in the chat and I hope you have a fabulous day. Happy sewing. Jesus Club. Where's the food? Oh, too much.